All right, a lot of you have been waiting for this vid for a while, so finally gonna be doing a full day of eating. So yeah, pretty much take you through my entire day. Uh, I have six meals right now. Woke up today six weeks out. Uh, I was weighing 216.2 pounds, so starting to get down there, starting to get pretty lean, but set my check-in, so my coach will probably lower my food a little bit today, so I'll let you know, guys know what that changes, but for now, uh, I'm still at 200 grams of carbs. I'm going to make my first meal right now, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, so I'm sitting here editing this video. And I noticed that my parrots are going absolutely insane pretty much the entire time. <laughs> so ignore the parrots. And then some clips, the lighting was kind of messed up a little bit. So ignore that too. All right. Enjoy. Okay. So meal one, I have three whole eggs and then 150 grams of egg whites. And I got 60 grams of oats, uh, 16 grams of almond butter and 100 grams of strawberries got the milo's tea and then got some water so this is my first meal of the day this is my favorite meal obviously if you're trying to put on some size you should be eating a lot more than this so when i was bulking up i was probably eating I was eating three whole eggs and then I was doing four pieces of turkey bacon instead of the egg whites. Uh, and then I did bagels. So bagels are a really good one for bulking. So I did one bagel. That's like 50 grams of carbs right there. And then I did pancakes. I did like 100 grams of carbs from pancakes. So got to make your meals pretty big. The main difference really is this is much lower carbs and much cleaner foods than when I was trying to put on size. I will be kind of the theme of the day. A lot of protein, not a lot of carbs. Uh, all right, I'll see you guys next meal. All right, got meal number two. We got some 96.4 ground beef. That is how you open the package. Alright, I guess some of you uh, probably don't know how to cook, so I guess I'll teach you how to make this. But meal two, pretty much all it is is straight up beef. So six ounces of this, some veggies, and that's it. And usually for the veggies, I just do pickles. Alright, let me show you how to make this. All right, so you grab the pan, you grab the zero cal spray, spray the pan, then you grab the beef, dump it, you need to have some sort of spatula, so this is what I use, and you just pretty much mash all this up. Tiny little pieces. Uh, cooking with the meat head, Gordon Ramsay meat head. All right, one more step. All we gotta do now is add some seasoning. So I use this carne asada seasoning. Spank that bad boy all over it. And then I use some uh, red hot seasoning. Same thing, spank it. All right, that's pretty much it. All you do now is just uh, wait for this pink stuff to turn brown and then it's done. It's that simple, boys. Oh, I forgot to turn on the heat. So make sure you put it on like medium uh, if you have this same type of stove as me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a gas one. So if you have a gas one, maybe you might need to turn it up a little bit higher or lower, but uh, medium should be fine, I think. Oh man. 
that just fogged up my lens. Okay, so it's been like three, four minutes and it's starting to turn brown. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. Oh, there we go. All right, that's the max. So, here's our beef. Just pretty much keep mashing it up. Make sure there's no pink left. And that's pretty much it. Super simple. You don't even need your mommy to cook it. You can do it yourself. Easy peasy. Alright. This next step is why probably 90% of you, actually 99% of you don't get progress, don't make gains, don't lose weight. It's because you don't actually track your stuff and you don't actually weigh it. Let me show you how to Weigh some food, man. It's pretty easy. First step, put the plate on the scale. Notice, it's off. That's on purpose. So, put the plate on first. Now, I press the button, the on button. And see, it says zero. So, it's not taking into account the weight of the plate, which is good. So, now all we have to do is put the meat on top. So, meat, I weigh in ounces. So I'm going to click this so it says OZ ounces. So we got our beef. I need six ounces. So <laughs> it's kind of hard with one hand. All right, let's see if we can do it. Yeah. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Come on. We're at 4.25. We're almost there. Come on, man. 5.7. All right, I'm, I'm guessing this little piece will get us to six. Let's see. Make your bets in the comments. We'll just get to six ounces. Oh, come on, man. All right, every drop counts. We need a little bit more. Boom, six ounces on the dot. All right, now we're just going to add... Two of these, we don't really gotta weigh that. That's just pickles. No calories, man. Zero calories, 210 milligrams of sodium. Perfect macros. So, if you want, you can put some sauce on here. I'll probably put some uh, hot sauce. And yeah, that's meal number two. Meal two is done, fully cooked. So we got six ounces of beef and then we got the two pickles. And then the most important part about dieting, honestly, is the diet drinks. I think that's what helps me the most uh, with cravings and stuff. So if you have bad cravings, if you always feel like you need to cheat, then I suggest uh, you get some diet drinks. So this is Cran Mango. This is really good. Try it out if you haven't, but please do not sell them out of all the stores. I'm going to be pissed if I can't get Milo's iced tea or Cran Mango uh, Ocean Spray. So you guys better not buy them out of all the stores. Another thing, if you're not on prep, you probably should not be eating like this. <laughs> I would add some carbs. So if you're trying to put on size, if you're a skinny guy right now trying to put on some muscle, I would add some rice or some potatoes, uh, I don't know, some bagels, oatmeal, something. You need some kind of carbs. Also, I probably wouldn't use beef this lean, so I would use maybe some, some fattier steak or like 90-10 ground bison. That's what I like to use in the off season. Not too uh, fat and not like crazy lean like this, 96-4 isn't pretty insane, so kind of want a good mix. All right, I'm going to eat this and then I'm out of groceries, so I think I'm going to take you guys on a grocery run, show you what I buy. All right, see you later. All right, so I did not take you to the grocery store. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't want to be that TikToker kid walking around with his uh camera trolling people. That's probably what they were going to think I'm doing. But nope, I'm just a meathead getting groceries. All right, I'll show you guys what I got, though. 
Okay, we got two paper bags. I'm gonna gatekeep the store because I don't want you guys uh, getting these steals. But, okay, should we do the drink one first or the food one first? Let's do the food one first. All right, chicken breast. Two packs of chicken breast. 96 four ground beef. Two packs of that. Receipt. You already know the pickles. We got some more cushers. All right. Cayenne red pepper. I ran out of that, so I got some more. Honey mustard. I've never tried this before, so I'm gonna try it out. 10 calories. And then last we got Ortega street taco sauce. Same thing, never tried it. Five calories. See if it's good. All right, time for the good stuff. So I went to a supplement store nearby. I got this little pre-workout. I'm gonna try it out. All you uh, nerds, you guys can look at the ingredients right here. All right, let me let me do the full scoop ingredients. Uh, I'm shaking a little bit. <laughs> All right. So I'll try this out, see if it's good. What flavor is it? Candy necklace. Sounds yummy. All right, ice. Literally the best drink ever. We got strawberry watermelon. And then we got strawberry or kiwi strawberry. And then last, Alloy Vita Zero. Oh shoot. I remember drinking this uh, when I was a kid, like the, the actual sugary version. So I'll try it out, maybe it's good. I'm gonna go cook up this chicken. I'm gonna go grill outside. And then I'll show you guys the final meal. Spoiler alert. It's chicken and veggies. <laughs> Pretty much all we're doing, just meat and veggies. All right. All right, done cooking. So we got six ounces of grilled chicken, 60 grams of jasmine rice, pretty much nothing. Uh, that's like, I don't know, like 12, 13 grams of carbs. It's pretty much nothing. Uh, that's the Ortega sauce that I just got, honey mustard, and then Good old veggies, got some cucumber with some salt on it. And then we're gonna try this uh, new zero cal drink. Summer freeze ice pop. Hopefully it tastes pretty good. All you guys have been begging for a full day of eating. I don't think it's that really that interesting. I'm just eating a bunch of meat uh, and veggies. Not a lot of carbs, so. I'm going to try to add some uh, information during this meal. That way you guys actually kind of learn something from this video. Let's try this flavor real quick though. That tastes pretty insane. You guys should try this out. It's pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> I can't explain what it tastes like, but it tastes pretty good. A lot of times, a lot of you guys ask me, what do I do to get bigger? What do I eat? So, I'd say if you're bulking, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is uh, go on a calculator app, or it doesn't even have to be an app. Just go Google, like, calorie calculator, put in all your information, and then just figure out what your maintenance is. And then, I'd say start with, like, a... 250 to 500 calorie surplus so primarily what you got to worry about is your macros I know a lot of people say oh one gram of protein per body weight if you really want to be big you probably need more than one gram per pound per body weight 200 pound bodybuilder should not be eating 200 grams of protein that's not enough so I'd say closer to like 1.5 to two grams per body weight should be ideal for most big guys, bodybuilders. If you're still a noob, then sure, <laughs> one gram, go for it. But the rest of your calories, 
Carbs and fats. I'd say carbs a lot higher than fats, obviously. I, I tend to like uh, lower fat and then higher carbs. So that's what works best for me. On the other hand though, if you're dieting, put in your information on that calculator and then same deal, but I'd say probably start with a 250 calorie deficit. So you don't really want to start too low. And then from there, just slowly decrease uh, carbs. So keep your fat the same, but slowly lower your carbs and calories, lower your fats a little bit too. And then as you lose weight and fat, just keep going. Uh, bulking wise, same deal. If you plateau, you're not gaining weight, increase the food. Add another 25 grams of carbs. Add another 50 grams of carbs. Just keep going, just keep adding on. I remember my peak, I was eating like 800 grams of carbs, 100 grams of fat, and like 340, 350 grams of protein. So you gotta eat a lot of food to get pretty big. All right, I'm gonna destroy this, I'm starving, and then see you guys at the next meal. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, cream of rice time. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make it. Got a fresh pack. All right, so cream of rice on the scale, 70 grams. Pretty easy. So pour it in there, 70 grams. Walk over to the fridge and then you add some water. I have no idea how much I just eyeball it. That's probably enough. So pretty much just cover it. And then grab a spoon. Mix it up. This key, this is the important part. A lot of people don't do this. They don't mix it before they put it in. So make sure you mix it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just mix it around a little bit. And then microwave. Three minutes. All right, while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna get the pickles ready. So, wait for that to cook, and then I just add uh, two scoops of protein powder. Here, a lot of you guys were asking what protein I use. This is the protein powder I use. Doesn't really matter what brand. This tastes like chocolate ice cream to me, it's pretty good. So just make sure it's a whey isolate, that's all that really matters. But yeah, this is what I use. All right. Okay, now it's done cooking, so I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to mix it up. It's a little firm. That's okay, we're going to add extra water. This is really hard to do with my left hand. Alright, let me grab the protein powder and the cinnamon. Here's the key. Now I just add... Just a little bit of water, and then I'm just gonna mix it. Look at that, perfect consistency. Nice little jiggle, not too runny, not too thick. And then last step, just add some cinnamon. Mix it up. Meal number five. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I don't think I filmed uh, meal four. I was a little bit hungry. So meal four was exactly like meal three, just six ounces of chicken and uh, cucumbers. That's it. That one had no rice. So it was literally just chicken and vegetables. Okay, this is meal five though. Pre-workout meal. Uh, same thing as always, 70 grams cream of rice. 
55 grams of protein powder, and then the good old pickles. So I'm gonna destroy this, and then in about an hour, I'm gonna go hit arms. Arm day will not be in this video, so watch out. It's gonna be a Rich Piana arm day special. So I hope you guys enjoy that vid. Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat this. And then I'll see you guys after my workout for our last meal. All right guys, done with my workout. This is my final meal, meal six. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so yeah, pretty late. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna destroy this as quick as possible. But I just wanted to say thank you guys. Oh, I should probably go over what the meal is. So we got uh, 55 grams of whey isolate protein, the same one I showed earlier. And then we got some lightly salted rice cakes. Uh, one of these is eight grams of carbs, so I'm gonna need like nine of them. Because my post work I meal is 70 grams of carbs. Usually from rice, but I ran out of rice, so I'm gonna do rice cakes. And then I got two little uh, secret pills. <laughs> so this isn't anything crazy. It's a GDA, glucose disposal agent. So if you're an advanced lifter, you can use these. Pretty much it just helps you absorb your carbs better uh, instead of storing them as fat. Usually these are more beneficial in the off season if you're eating dirtier foods. So if you're bulking up, I recommend you get a good glucose disposal agent. Could help you out. Yeah, I wanted to thank you guys for uh, 1K subs. Literally started posting 11 days ago, pretty insane. So I'm excited to see where this goes. Who knows, maybe I'll hit 10K, 100K, who knows, man. You guys might change my life. So I'm gonna keep posting, keep trying to make some good content. By the way, my coach did text me. He didn't make any uh, changes to my food. He just said, up the cardio. <laughs> so now I'm doing five sessions fasted, 45 minutes, and five sessions post-workout for 40 minutes. So a lot of cardio, not a lot of food. I'm feeling pretty dead. It's hard to keep a pump, but, you know, it's going to be worth it at the end. Hopefully we get that first place at the show. So I'm going to destroy this meal and I'll have this uh, video up for you guys. Uh, I don't know which video I'm going to have up first, either the arm day special or this video. I might upload the arm day first. That vid is going to be insane. It's going to be the first time I have an actual cameraman and stuff. So uh, if I release that video already, go back and watch it. If I haven't, then uh, if I release the video after this one, then make sure you watch that vid because it's going to go crazy. All right. The real ones. If you watch till the end, comment cream of rice. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.